Hello everyone, I'm gonna keep this intro excessively short. Um, there's a YouTuber called Socks for One. He does Among Us mods, including custom, um, including custom roles, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I want to go through all of his custom roles and talk about, like, how likely they are to be added to Among Us 2, which we know is going to have roles. Um, two things to note. I am not going to be talking about his, like, custom scenarios, like, freeze tag and stuff like that. And I'm also not going to be talking about any custom, like, imposter roles, such as imposter as lightsaber or imposter as god. That is a real role he added. Um, because the imposter is already its own role, so I highly doubt they're going to give it more abilities. So yeah, just the crewmate roles. Here we go. So the jester. Basically, the concept of this role is your goal is to get voted out. If you get voted out, you win. Um, so this is definitely an interesting one. Um, I kind of want to talk about how it would, like, affect strategies of both crewmates and imposters. Let's go with the crewmate one first. Um, crewmates just would have to be very careful who they're voting off now. Like... Not only are you looking for people who are suspicious, but now you might, like, have to think, okay, who's being too suspicious? Who is, like, being blatantly a murderer? So it just kind of adds, like, this fear into, like, every time you're accusing someone. And then I would say it doesn't really affect the imposters that much because killing the jester doesn't make the game end. Only voting off the jester makes the game end with the jester winning. Okay, so I'd say that the Jester is actually a fairly likely one. Um, just by the fact that it doesn't change the game that much, but also just kind of adds a fear into every action you're taking. Every time you're like, I think red sus, you could be like, wait, does red want me to say that? So I'm going to give this one a solid like four out of five. I think this one is pretty likely for Among Us 2. So the detective has the ability to see footprints throughout the ship, like certain colors to, you know, represent the different colors of the people in the game. Now, this doesn't work for a few reasons. One, if you see the footprints going up to a um, vent and then just not go anywhere, you know who it is. If you only see one pair of footprints all over a dead body, you know who it is. So in a, like, casual setting, like how Socks for One plays, they're mostly just joking around, having a good time. It works, but in a more, like, competitive Among Us setting, I just, I feel like the imposters would get very frustrated. Which, of course, they could change their strategy, but, you know, there's no way to avoid walking to a dead body. Now, of course, the one thing is the detective, um, the footprints slowly fade away. <laughs> the footprints slowly fade away, which does help. But even then, I just feel like the detectives would be too overpowered. Um, I have seen other versions of the detective, like one that has a notepad that they can take notes on throughout the game. And if they ever die, it drops on the floor so people can find it. That I could see a little more. I could see that being better. But still, I just, I feel like if they were going to do it, they'd have to do the notepad. But I feel like that kind of takes away from Among Us because I don't want to be sitting here writing notes, obviously. That puts you in a very vulnerable spot and also makes you look really suspicious. So I'd probably give the detective like a two out of five. It's not impossible because the ability still would work. I just feel like it would be too powerful. So the sheriff can kill anyone, just like an imposter. It has a kill button. But the catch is if it kills a crewmate, it also dies. I really like this one. Um, I would love to see the sheriff in the game. So what makes the sheriff interesting is obviously he only has one chance. If he gets it wrong, he's dead. So how does that change, like, gameplay? So the crewmates are not 
that changed, honestly. Yeah, I would not say they are like that like distinctly changed. They just keep going around doing their tasks, doing their thing. Now the imposters, on the other hand, if someone verbally says, oh, I'm the sheriff, you've got like two choices. Try to kill them at all costs or try to make them your friend. You know, if you can have the sheriff trusting you, because if you kill them, you know, that's one person dead. But if you can convince them to kill a crewmate, that is two crewmates automatically dead, which, you know, very, very nice, very nice. Two for the price of one without even affecting your kill cooldown. So I think the sheriff would be an interesting character. I'm going to give it another like four out of five. I feel like this one could work very well without being like super overpowered. So the doctor. Um, so the doctor's ability is that it can, if it finds a body, it can revive them, bring them back to life. I know what you're thinking. Couldn't the person just be like, oh, um, this person killed me. Yes, they, they easily could. They could easily just be like, this person killed me, vote them out. But when they play with the doctors in these videos, um, they agree that none of them if they're revived, cannot say who the imposter is. They can say who revived them. So you can just be like, ah, um, Vio revived me. He's innocent. Hard clear. But the issue with that is obviously not everyone's going to abide by that rules, especially in an online setting. I could see maybe, like, in a game with your friends, you guys could kind of make that agreement. But I just do not see a world where this works. Like, because that's a really hard thing to make rules about. Can I mention other people who like, can I, can I mention things I saw as a ghost? Can I be like, ah, oh, this person didn't kill me, but I saw this person vent. Or later, later, if I see the person who killed me earlier kill someone else, can I call them out for it? Or could they make the argument, oh, you were revived, you can't say it was me. So it would just cause like this whole like drama that I just do not see working out. So I'm probably gonna have to give it probably one out of five. Um, I'm not gonna give it a zero because I'm sure that with some tweaking it could function properly, but I don't know. There's just, people can't be trusted. People cheat in Among Us all the time. So to make it so easy to cheat, I just can't see working out. So the troll's ability is very similar to the jester, but instead of needing to be voted out, the troll needs to be killed. Okay, so in terms of the crewmates, doesn't really affect anything, but in terms of the imposters, this fundamentally changes the game because if someone's following you around, you can't kill them. Because if you kill them, they're probably the troll. But also, you can't kill in front of them. So, it just, I, I also, once again, don't really see the troll working. I mean, I think it could be fun to, like, play with the troll once or twice. Like, ah ha ha, I'm the troll, you killed me. But... Then, like, four or five times, it would just start getting annoying, much like the troll meme itself. So I'm going to give this one a two out of five. Slightly better than the Doctor, because it could still function, but I don't think it'd be fun to play as. So the next one we're talking about is the Mayor. Um, basically, the Mayor's ability is their vote counts as two. I like it. Nice, simple, straight to the point. Five stars. I think this is the perfect example of what an Among Us role, or just a role in any game, including Mafia and such, should be. Um, It doesn't fundamentally change the game, but takes one of the game's aspects and just stretches it, edits it slightly for this one person. Um, In fact, unlike all the other roles on this list, I could see the mayor possibly be given to imposters or crewmates because either way it doesn't really affect 
I mean, it affects gameplay significantly. For example, if you're an imposter and you find out someone's a mayor, you are immediately trying to get them on your side or kill them. But probably get them on your side, because if it comes down to it, their vote matters more than anyone else's. So I could definitely see that being interesting. Um, and if you're a crewmate, specifically if you're the mayor, you want to be really sus of anyone trying to be your friend, because you have a very good power. So yeah, five stars, five socks. We're doing a socks for one video, I guess. Five crewmates, whatever you want to call it. Five out of five. I would love to see the mayor at it. So the dictator has a one-time use ability where they can throw someone out of the ship. Doesn't matter who everyone else voted for, that person just gets thrown out. See, like the ability works. It makes sense. But also, I just feel like it could lead to some not fun plays where, like, sure, this person is suspicious, but also last round this person voted me out. I'm going to use my power on them. And, like, things like that that I just, I don't know, the mayor, like, the dictator feels like a worse version of the mayor. I could see it working, but I just don't think it would be a very fun thing to have to deal with. So yeah, we're probably going to give the dictator, like, three out of five pumpkins. <laughs> I don't know what our rating system is. But yeah, um, doesn't seem like a great choice, obviously. But, you know, I could still see it, I don't know, add some variety. So yeah, um, there you go. That's, that's about it. It was just a nice, simple, fun video of me going through talking about Among Us, which, you know, um, is a popular game. I play it, not as much anymore. Very excited for the new map. Um, hopefully, you know, that'll revamp my interest. Among Us 2, definitely, if we get some rolls, spice it up. It's just gotten repetitive, and a lot of my friends can't always play, and playing with people online is garbage, the worst. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you know, this would be the perfect video for an Isaac with a knife. Where is evil Isaac when you need him? Theo, please. I'm so hungry. He always shows up where he's not wanted. Where is he now? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you next week. Goodbye!